Okay, I got some uh, video number three. I got some more comments to go over here. Uh, this person says, I think some confusion comes with works. There are five crowns we are working and hoping for. The Bible tells us about. Okay, so I would uh, I would like for you to uh, <clears throat> share a follow-up comment and, and uh, elaborate on that a little bit for me. I appreciate that. Uh, Timothy Price says, Crypto Jews converted to Catholic. Catholicism during the Spanish Inquis uh, in Inquis whatever that word is okay <laughs> uh, and uh, Tonka or whatever that is Old Testament equals Torah and so the Torah is the first five books of the Old Testament also known as the book of Moses uh, why Christians use the word Torah is beyond me uh, I don't understand it but um uh, you know, uh, I don't make a big fuss out of that. The Talmud, written by the same lying priest that caused Israel and Judah to be removed from their land by the Assyrians. That's, uh, that's true. And not true, cannot lose it. We will never, we will not ever be sin free. That is why he died for us. Okay, so you're right but we will be sin free okay uh, we just won't ever be sin free in this world in this body we will never be sin free as i'm sure that's what linda's referring to okay but um obviously i uh, you know once when jesus comes we are redeemed and uh, we are transformed into our glorified body where there is no more pain, no more suffering, no more death. And in case you don't believe me, let's see if the Bible supports what I just said here. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, ni neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. Okay, this is talking about uh, after Jesus com comes and he gathers together his elect and we are transformed in the twinkling uh, what is that phrase? In a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Okay, so um, now we're going to sin in this body, right? But if we believe in Jesus Christ, then blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin. Okay. Thank you for that. Bill Gates wants to kill us.com. I'd rather share the gospel than Bill Gates wants to kill us. Uh, he's not the only one. I don't agree with Jesus dying for present. All oh, this was three weeks ago. I was going to wait to cover this. I might as well cover this now. I don't agree with Jesus dying for present and future sins. He died for sin. It gives people the idea they can continue to sin. And it's okay. It's not okay. It's not okay to sin ever. And uh, I don't know anybody that, that says it's okay to sin that's saved. Or that preaches the gospel of one saved, always saved. That preaches the gospel of Jesus Christ. It, um, you know, like the woman uh, who was caught in adultery. And Jesus uh, played in the sand and said, He who has no sin let him cast the first stone and they all departed and he says uh, look woman who's here to condemn you and uh, she says something to the effect Lord nobody and she said and then Jesus says neither do I condemn you condemn you uh, go and sin no more right I hope I uh, said that right she said no man Lord, and Jesus said unto her, her, neither do I condemn thee, go and sin no more. Alright, so it's not okay to sin. 
I don't know why you're getting that from your own imagination. There's nobody that says that I know of that preaches once saved always says and uh, saved and all and also says it's okay to sin. Nobody does that that I know of that I've never heard of. If you know somebody that's preaching once saved always saved, preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ and says it's okay to sin, let me know about it. I'd like to know. I'd like to see this for myself. I've never seen it. Jesus said, go and sin no more. Yes, exactly. And be holy as my Father is holy. If we sin, we have Jesus that will forgive us. That's correct. True Christians shouldn't continue to sin. Well, they shouldn't, but they do. And think God is okay with it. Hey, that's true. Uh, if you sin, it's not okay. Repentance isn't going back to the vomit. Right, no, repentance is turning from unbelief to belief. And I, I pointed this out before. Um, people make a big deal about repentance and imagine it to be something it's not. Okay, you'll, you'll notice here the word repent in the New Testament. It's found in Mark, uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, but not in John. So this... Uh, People are out there teaching uh, repentance of sin. Uh, I don't know what they're preaching. Uh, you're preaching something. You better be careful because it's that word repents not even in the book of John. That's my point. Okay. And uh, I, and I pointed out, what was that? Hebrews 10.10 10 or something. Uh, let's see if I can pull this up real quick. Uh, by the which we by the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all so um, you know if that doesn't clear uh, clarify it enough for you, you just read keep reading and every priest standeth daily ministering and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices which can never take away sins but this man after he had offered one Sacrifice for sins forever set down on the right hand of God. One sacrifice for sins forever. Now that should clarify it. That should that should close that case, right? Uh, deleting my post says a lot about you, Jim. It's Jimmy, by the way. Easter is pagan and you can't stand it when someone does not have... <laughs> Your same opinion. So I don't get bent out of shape uh, over the Easter. Uh, uh, what I get bent out of shape is when people say the Bible is wrong. That's what I get bent out of shape for. That boils my blood. All right. So you want to fight over that? Let's fight over what the Bible says. And it is a plane. Anyway, you didn't let my comment through, but I would really appreciate an answer to what you think about the Jews and why they don't believe in the New Testament. Well, it's pretty clear they don't believe in the Old Testament either. Um, and I've gone over that a minute and a half. I'm not sure I can. Uh, I'm not sure I can cover that. Other than to say that the same that's going on with. The, the modern day Jews is going on with all non-believers and that's that they reject Jesus Christ they think that they are a good person and that they're good enough what they do it's the same with the Lordship salvation people they think that they're a good person and that uh, by their good works they'll get into heaven uh, and therefore, uh, therefore uh, they don't need Jesus right um, and, but they're blind uh, because of faith. And it, it's the same reason they were blind in the Old Testament is because they lacked faith. All right. And uh, sh let's should check out Vernon Jenkins' work about Bible Germany. Okay, I'm not going to read this in 20 seconds. So I know I appreciate uh, all your comments. And we'll talk to you soon.